Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this particular problem which says that determine the constant speed of the passengers on the amusement park ride. If it is observed that the supporting cables are directed at theta equals to 30 degrees. So here this theta is equal to 30 degrees from the vertical. It is said that each chair including its passenger has a mass of 80 kg. Also what are the component of force in the N, T and B direction which the chair exerts on a 50 kg passenger during the motion. So in the first part of this problem we need to determine the constant speed of each and every passenger. right? So as we can see that uh, here this cable is making 30 degrees so the tension in the cable will be uh, if we consider the free body diagram of uh, this kid along with the seat, then the tension in the cable will be acting in this direction from this particular point. So let's say this is the tension T in the cable and if this tension T is making uh, 30 degrees with the vertical then this angle is also 30 degrees since both of these angles are alternate angles. Similarly, the weight of the passenger will be acting, the weight of the passenger plus the seat uh, will be acting vertically downward, right? So the overall weight is 80 kg. So this is weight and this is 80 times 9.81. If we want to find the velocity, then we need to apply the summation of forces along the normal axis and the normal axis is acting towards the center of the of this ride right so this is the axis of rotation so the summation of forces along n is equal to mass times a n so if we resolve this t into its components so it will have two components one of its component will be acting in the positive n direction and one of its component will be acting in the positive b direction let me try it so one component will be acting like this i place it here so then if this is 30 then this is cost component we can say that this is t cos of 30 degrees and this is t sine of 30 degrees. So the summation of forces along n so as we can see that this sine component of t is acting in the positive uh, n direction so we can write that this is plus t sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to the mass so the mass is 80 and a n is v square divided by r. So since these uh, children are moving in a circular path, so the radius of that circular path is from here until here, right? And as we can see that from here until here, this, uh, this length is 4 meters, right? And we want to find this length. So we are given that the length of the rope is 6 meters. And if it is making theta here, then this length is 6 sine of 30 degrees, right? So we can say that the radius of the path is 4 meters plus 6 sine of 30 degrees. And if we calculate it, so it, it comes out to be uh, 7 meters. So it's 4 plus 6 sine of 30. So this is 7 meters, right? So I will write that this is 7 meters. So we can put R here as 7 meters. So this is 7. Now let's say this is equation 1. So in this equation we have two unknowns. So first we need to determine this tension T. So now if I apply uh, the summation of forces along the binormal axis is, and that will be equal to 0 since uh, the children are moving along the tangential axis, right? So there is no acceleration along the binormal axis. So as we can see that uh, this cos component of T is acting in the positive V direction. So I will write plus T cos of 30 degrees and that weight is acting vertically downward. So this is minus weight and this will be equal to zero. Or we can say that T cos of 30 is equal to weight. Or we can say that this T is equal to weight so weight is 80 times 9.81 divided by cos of 30. So this will give us the tension in the cable. So 80 times 
divided by cos of 30. This is 906.21. So T is 906.21 Newtons. So now from this equation we can find this V uh, velocity that constant speed. So if I put the T 906.21 sine of 30 degrees and I need to multiply this with 7 and divide it by 80. So this will give us V square. And if I take the square root then we will be able to find that constant velocity magnitude. So I will take the square root. This will be 7 multiplied by 906.21 sine of 30 divided by 80 under the square root. So the velocity is 6.30 approximately. So the velocity magnitude is 6.30 meter per second. So this is the answer of the first part. Now the second part says that what are the component of force in the M, T and B direction which the chair exerts on the 50 kg passenger during the motion. So let's say now we consider this particular passenger. So again if we consider this passenger and uh, so the, the tangential direction is like this. This is our tangential direction and the binormal direction is acting vertically upward and the normal axis is acting towards the center of the curvature right so this is the normal direction so now let's say that uh, the chair exerts the force on this children in the upward direction and let's say that uh, that force is fb and the force applied in the normal direction is let's say Fn and the force applied in the tangential direction is let's say Ft and its weight will be acting vertically downward so let me represent that weight as well. So the weight of the children is acting in the, in the negative V direction. And this time this weight is 50 times 9.81 since we are not considering the chair we are only considering the uh, mass of the children right. So this is 50 times 9.81 newtons. Now if we apply the summation of forces along the tangential direction equals to m a t and since these passengers are moving with the constant velocity then the tangential acceleration is zero since the tangential acceleration deals with the change in the magnitude of the velocity. So the magnitude of the velocity is not changing. So this means that if we add up the forces along the tangential axis so then Ft will be equal to zero since there is no other force which is acting in the tangential direction. So the chair is not applying the force in the tangential direction on this children. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along n equals to m a n. So as we can see that this f n is acting in the n direction. So I will write f n and this will be equal to the mass. So the mass is 50 without chair the mass is 50 and a n is again this is v squared divided by r. So now we know v and r is also known which is 7 meters. So if I put that then fn will be equal to 50 multiplied by 6.30 square divided by 7 meters. So 50, 50 multiplied by 6.30 square divided by 7. So 283.5. So the force applied by the chair on the children in the normal direction is 283.5 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along the by normal axis, so that will be equal to zero. And as we can see that this Fb is acting in the positive V direction, so I will write Fb minus this weight. So weight is 50 into 9.81, and this is equal to zero. So this means that Fb is equal to the weight of the passenger which is 50 times 9.81 so 50 times 
9.81 so this is 490.5 newtons so the chair applies 490.5 newtons in the binaural direction on the passenger similarly uh, chair applies uh, 283.5 newton force in the normal direction and in the tangential direction the chair does not apply the force on the passenger so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like uh, these videos if you people want me to solve such more problems from engineering dynamics by hitler